good afternoon. Got some maples here that I wired on a video a couple of days ago. Anyway, when I reviewed the video, it was dead windy and there was it was blowing like that and it was just a waste of time. But I just wanted to quickly show you what I did. They're just some field maple. Um, just that I wired really, just to put a bit of movement in them. I used a loose coil. Um, this one I didn't do anything with because it's a bit shorter. And I just wanted to show you what I've uh, been up to anyway. I'll get these out of the way anyway. And on with today's project, which is a group planting of field maple. So, I've acquired a tub. My mum had it lying about behind the shed. They've never used it, I don't think. And... Uh, I knew about it and I thought, oh that'll do. The only thing is it's got five holes in the bottom, but it's got none in the bottom of the feet. So these are naturally a place for wet, moist compost to to sit, which is no good. So all I'll do is just drill a couple of holes in, put a piece of wood underneath to support. And that's all it needs. There we go. So there's now a hole in the bottom of each of these feet. That means there's plenty of drainage there, which is great. Now, I've watched a few videos online about creating group plantings. As you've seen in the previous video, I've done a couple. I've got a beach one and a hornbeam one. But there's a couple of good videos out there, particularly by Greenwood Bonsai Studio. I love his, I love Corin's videos, they're great. And he creates a maple forest. Um, and he kind of does it using just a normal compass. And he, he adds the trees to it. And I'm going to try and do something similar today. Now, it's quite, um, I suppose people wouldn't know. But I am, or have been a, a professional photographer um, and I've done a lot of landscape photography over the years uh, particularly woodland forests trees that kind of stuff there was a big international competition last year called the uh, natural landscape photography awards and I actually won the trees and forest section with a photograph from the Lake District so I'm I'm quite used to I, the ideas of composition and I'm used to being in woodland looking around woodland trying to create a, a pleasing scene on the camera and my approach to group plantings is I'm trying to do the same thing but I'm obviously I can move the trees whereas in nature that's something obviously I can't do so I put some compost in there some substrate and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get these, the bare root maples, they're, they're sort of coming to leaf, so it's not a great, it'd have been better doing this probably a, a month ago or two or three weeks ago. But now is now, you know, what you're going to do. And it's just going to be a question of me arranging them. I'm going to arrange them with you looking at the composition. That's my idea. So I'm going to start by selecting the biggest of the trees, which is this. It's got a nice flat root base, which I'm just going to prune a little bit because it's just a bit unwieldy. So I've just trimmed it down a touch. I don't want to take too many roots off, but I want this to be the centre of the composition. So I want this offset. I do not want this in the centre like that, but I want it fairly far forward. So I'm thinking here. There. Now I'll just get a little bit of soil, put on top of the roots, just to hold it in place. And that's there. So my next large tree I've got a 
couple of trees here that have actually got some quite nice movement in them and I want these to feature so I'm thinking possibly one there and one over here next to it I think they look quite good there next to each other relatively forward in the composition put some soil around them just to hold them in place now these ones are fairly straight this has got a bit of interesting stuff happening at the bottom so I'm thinking if I can perhaps put one there this one naturally goes out and at the edges of the composition I want the trees moving away as if they're bending out looking for the light so I'm thinking this one might work well sort of there looking out see this one is at the edge but it's kind of going in which is not ideal so I'm going to turn that one around and have that one kind of pointing out of the composition and although I'm not as I say I'm not no expert I'm no bonsai expert I I am used to looking at compositions of trees you know and photographing trees and and so at this kind of stuff I'm you know I'm certainly not new to it to these ideas of composition and I think the first thing to do is to just get some trees in really get them in position it's a long route get rid of that And once they're in, I kind of adjust them. I, I want a, I want a skinny one here at the front because that sits next to the thick one and gives contrast of thickness, which is important. And this is the last tree. This can go a bit further back again, maybe perhaps there. So all I've done there roughly is just roughly put them in some kind of position just to start off. I don't think there's much more you can do at the beginning other than just kind of get them in, get some soil around them then you can have a look and see see how it looks so I'm gonna come around and have a look at this now let's see right Just moving these around now, creating spaces. Because I want the trunks all I want I want there to be one position where I can look and see all of the trunks. Because that's what when I'm doing a, when I'm creating a photograph, that's what I'm searching for in the woodland. But I don't want it to be too ordered. If it's too ordered, it, it won't look natural. That's no good. It's got to look natural so you need you need things that are sort of grouped together in kind of lumps and you need spaces and so really I'm just arranging these now to you 
you know, putting maybe two trees slightly closer together. I think that's beginning to look not bad. I think I'm short of a couple of trees. I have got a couple more trees that I wasn't really planning on using in the composition. This is a really nice, it's got some really nice movement to it. Um, I was going to just create, use this as a bonsai on its own. I'm going to have a look at it now. Just going to knock some of this soil off. See what I'm dealing with. Because it's just a bit sparse, this the planting for me. I like them when they're full and I'm wondering if I mean that's got loads of character but will that look out of character in a forest planting I don't know I don't think so now I've got my weight my kind of visual weight is over this side with this tree so I'm wondering if I can put this over there as well to make that side the real sort of dominant side so I'm just going to trim these roots down a touch. Do a bit much these. Still, I still want to leave quite a bit of roots on because with it being this time of year, you know, it's a bit dodgy. So if I leave plenty of roots on, it's got a good chance and they can always be worked on in the future. But I'm thinking if, if this can come in into the composition here like that over there and there's a nice view through I can see all of the trees from this view and they're not looking like they were positioned there too much which is it's like I say I can't stress it enough it's really important that and all I need to do now is add loads of soil in there Looking pretty good, I think. I'll get my uh, chopstick out. Snapped off chopstick this one, and just to be honest, apart from these bigger ones that had a bit more root, those other ones don't really. There's so few roots on them; the soil will just go around them. It's not like you're dealing with a big root base, a mass of roots to get it in. But these bigger ones, I just want to make sure there's no air pockets around their root systems. And I can feel the soil going down as I'm as I'm tapping around these, so it did need that soil pushing down to fill the void. this this kind of exercise is there's a certain amount of horticulture in it 
but I believe there's a lot more artistic compositional skill involved you know it's not just about keeping trees alive this it's about using your artistic eye and that's why I love these group these group plantings it's a real opportunity to to be creative and and express yourself and ultimately I see bonsai as an art form and that's what art is it's, a, it's an opportunity to be creative to express yourself to create something not necessarily beautiful but at minimum interesting and pleasing you know pleasing for whatever reason you know some of these gnarly old bonsai trees I certainly wouldn't call them beautiful I watch a lot of the videos by Walter Paul. I think he's fantastic. Absolutely love his stuff. You know, and he talks about bonsai as not necessarily being beautiful, but you should check out some of his videos. Um, Walter Paul, I love his stuff. And I think that's it, really. Let me stand back and have a look. Having created that now, I've just seen one, I am seeing one issue as I look at it. And it's these two trees being behind each other. I'm not moving the big one, so I can just put my finger down and pull that one across like that. And I like the fact that this little skinny one is behind the, the big one because it, it adds depth and perspective and makes the big one stand out. So that's pretty much it. I'll just water that in now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'll just take the camera off, off the tripod and sort of show you what I think is the view, which will be something like this. If I go round, I think it's quite pleasing from all angles, really, which it should be. And as a backup, I think that's pretty good. I like it. So there we go. That's my maple forest or group planting. I hope you enjoyed it and. Do it, get yourself some trees from a nursery or wherever and and create something. It's it's fantastic, it's really rewarding. So thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and see more of my amateurish videos. <laughs> I'll see you soon.